morning's woman's doctor. Whether it's your first child, your second, or your third, pregnancy brings a whole lot of changes to your body, and that does include your skin and even your hair. Hormone fluctuations along with an increase in blood flow can cause acne, breakouts, moles, skin tags, a dark stripe on the abdomen, varicose veins, and even hair loss. Mercy Medical Center dermatologist Dr. Janet Lynn says moms to be can also develop non melanoma skin cancers, so pregnancy is not an excuse to put off that head to toe skin exam. And Dr. Lynn is joining us now with some more information. Let's talk about the hair, first of all, because hair mm -hmm. loss usually comes afterwards, but usually you get this increase. Increase in hair growth. Right, you get this nice thick hair during pregnancy, mm -hmm. and it's usually because the hairs shift more into the growing phase and mm -hmm. less in the shedding, falling phase. So your hair gets really nice and thick, it gets beautiful. About three to four months after you have your child, though, the hairs start to shift back into the normal growing, shedding, falling phases. Yeah. So you get a lot of hair shedding. Uh, well, now, what about that dark strip? Does that become a, a problem for people? They get a little scared. So the dark stripe, I mean, it mm -hmm. just is a reflection of how you can get increased pigmentation on your body. Whether that's the stripe down your stomach, mm -hmm. you get patches on your face. A lot of those will go away, even by themselves, after you have your child. If not, there's different kinds of topical creams you can use to make them go away faster. All right, the moles you need to keep watching those, right? Definitely. So pregnancy is a time of life when you can get new moles. The existing moles you have, they can enlarge, they can get darker. So it's a good idea. If you notice any changes, you should go in to see your dermatologist. All right, and with acne, a lot of women will worry about the type of products they put on their skin during mm -hmm. pregnancy. So, what's safe out there to use? So, in terms of the products, usually we'll end up using Class B medications, mm -hmm. so we know they're safe during pregnancy and breastfeeding. There's a few prescription products that are available out there that do a good job, but yeah, you just want to let your dermatologist know if you're planning to become pregnant. And, real quick, while you're here, because our faces are all dry right now, what's the best thing we can go get? <laughs> so, I'm a big believer in Eucerin. They have an eczema relief line that has oatmeal in it. It makes it nice and thick. It's creamy. You can even use it on your face. All right, we feel terrible. We're like using her while she's here <laughs> for our own needs. Thank you, Dr. Lynn. Really appreciate it. If you have any other questions or you'd like a referral, just call 1 800 MD Mercy. And still ahead, some tips.